Okay, so now we want to look at is the problem 16. All right, so this is supposed to be a tax of $1 on the sellers. Okay, so in terms of step one, well, which curve shifts? Well, since the tax is applied to the sellers, we could say that that's a cost to the sellers. So that's going to be the supply curve shifting. Okay, and so which way is it shifting? Well, tax is basically an increase in the cost, and so the supply is going to shift is going to shift to the left. Okay, so in terms of step three, Again, we're going to start off with our initial equilibrium. Now note here, we say that the price, just refer to it as P sub 1. Now what that actually means is, at P sub 1, we can say that the price, the buyer's pay, price buyer's pay, is equal to the price that sellers receive. That's why we're able to just refer to a single price. Okay, but now let's see what happens when we have this tax. Okay, so we say that, the t that basically the tax causes this leftward shift. Okay, but we can be a little bit more specific in terms of what the degree is. Okay, this is kind of an exception to what we said applied to the three-step process. Okay, so in particular how that this is that this is equal to the amount of the tax, okay, the one dollar. All right. So what does that tell us? Okay, so the question is, is where is our new you know, equilibrium? Where is it? Okay, well, say, well, as far as the new supply, it's the original demand curve. And we can use that to find the new quantity. Okay, but another thing that we also can find from this point, say, is the price. But which price is it? Okay, in this case, what it turns out to be is the price that buyers pay, okay? So the price buyers pay is now here. So the question then is, where's the price that sellers receive, okay? Price sellers receive, and using this quantity, it's where it hits the supply curve, okay? So this is the price buyers pay under the tax. This is the price sellers receive under the tax. Okay, so if we had to talk about an effect, what can we say happens? Okay, what we can say happens is price buyers pay as a result of the tax has gone up. We can also say that the price sellers receive has gone down. And what we can also say is the quantity has decreased as well.